it's the big discussion that everybody who's doing mobile testing seems to have, you know, real devices versus emulators and simulators. With the cost of live devices, sometimes it gets prohibited. Then when you're releasing a new phone like the iPhone 10, you can't have a plethora of these devices. So you have to have an emulator and use platforms like Sauce Lab. At the beginning of our mobile testing, we didn't have the devices. We didn't, we didn't know where to go. We didn't know what we should do. Sauce Labs had everything handy. You pick what you want to test, you pick the OS you want, and up spins a new emulator, a new clean simulator, and you can run your test. That worked perfectly for us to get up and running. We upload apps on Apple Store, Google Store, and also Microsoft Store. We use SaaS Labs emulators and simulators for release testing, upgrade testing, and then download the testing. We have 10 Scrum teams, and we extensively use SaaS Labs. Team management, number of concurrent sessions, the concept is very useful for our organization. As the testing started to proceed and progress, uh, I started to look to getting this more onto real devices. Well, Sauce Labs has a real device farm. Worked out great. Same kind of information I was receiving back with our web testing. Um, the same analytics were available. The same results. I can see everything. It was very easy. I can share it easily across the team. Loved it.